right, this was the first start. What I'm thinking, I don't know if it's going to work or not, but what I'm thinking is I start to drill from the top, all right, and then you get that little bellow on the sides a little bit because the drill is like almost like a countersink look. And then I flipped it over. I did the same thing on the other side. So the center is actually just like really thin. And why I'm want why I want to think about it doing it that way, because it'll give me a little bit more uh, strength when I'm trying to nail it on or bang it onto there. You know, see what I mean? Got that that little inner. Nice. Oh, All right, now, what I'm looking for here is I know I have them. Uh, okay, so here's what we have so far. I haven't opened this up yet. i got to open it up just a little bit. Um, and then we're pretty well set with that. Let me kick that in. Uh, let me go over there with the Dremel and this and um, get this opened a little bit. I'll be right back. We're back. Like that. Just notched out the one side a little bit. There we go. Okay. So we got it covered. Okay. Good. Now I still want to try to do something with this. Let me see. I gotta have some nylon washers. What a nice day it is out there. Comfortable temperature and a nice, nice breeze. Now, this is the only washers, nylons, that I have, and I I swear I have more like this one. And this one. It sits on a uh, 3H24 uh, antenna connector. And, uh, well, you know what? I just, wait a minute. I mean, first of all, let's see if this is going to work. That one will work. Okay. That one's a little sloppy. Okay. So this one and this one should work. But I also have an idea. Let me put this back. There's actually a little bearing. Before I try that, I'm going to try it on something else. Oh, that would be ideal if that's the case. Oh, I mean, it fits so nice. Slow. 
here's the thing. <clears throat> it's got little teeth around it, like, like a little barb, you know, so it'll hold on. Uh, and it will grip in, so to speak, and then you kind of just tap it a little bit. Uh, but I don't want to take a chance on doing it to that just yet. So let me see here. This one's not going to be the right size. No. This one, if I need another bushing, I could probably steal out of this because I'm not going to be using this. Some in here. And I can probably force feed. But there, no, I don't want to use that. I don't have to. That's nylon. <coughs> Using the nylon washers, you know, so that it'll turn on it is one thing. But using a piece of nylon on the actual working part of the gear, that's not negotiable at this point. I want to see if this will do what I think it will do, because if it will do, Okay, so if I drilled it that size, see what I mean? Oh, you can't really. But I'd have to tap that down, which would make it tight. And I can tap it down on here because I'm not tapping on that. So this is the size hole that I would need. Actually, I would probably go a little smaller to start with and allow for a uh, wibble wobble. Here's what I gotta do. Let me find a bit to fit this. Hold on. 
Arlene came out here with me. Uh, okay, I could look right here. This. Yeah, she came out with me this afternoon to kind of see that one's too big. It can't be that tight. Yeah, so she came out because I had to clean up a lot of metal that was underneath there. I threw a lot out, and uh, I just wanted to get it done, because I also wanted to see if I had any more plate uh, in case I need to cut out another washer. And I found out that I do. Go home, right back. 